Alright, hey guys, Fatal Ferret here, and welcome back to yet another manga haul video. This is obviously for the month of November, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into the video. <clears throat> so as you can see, right here in front, I got Kill La Kill. Now I know I believe this came out at the end of October, but I didn't end up getting it until November, so obviously I'm just going to add it to my November haul because that's when I got it. And so obviously a very nice adaptation uh, to what we all know and love as the Kill la Kill anime. Um, this has been published by Udon. Which is, I want to say, a newer, at least, publisher. I keep seeing more and more series um, that they have acquired keep popping up. Um, so I hope that they are doing well and that they do well. And so we can basically just get more manga series um, translated. So I'm looking forward to getting more volumes from them uh, in the future. And uh, I really did enjoy this Kill a Kill. The Kill a Kill volume. Because it, uh, it did a very good job, I thought, of uh, staying true to the anime. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our Kodansha comics uh, pickups of the month. So I have fairy girls here. I may or may not already have my manga spotlight uh, up. I probably, I might not, but um, if it's not, just keep a lookout on it. Um, this is a very <clears throat> good adaptation, in my opinion. I say adaptation; it's a good spin-off because uh, it's not. Fairy Tale has had several good spin-offs so far. I haven't read Ice Tail yet. Um, but we'll have to see because so far what was it uh, what's the other fairy tale one like the blue mist mistral or something like that um, I have that and I did quite uh, I like that one quite a lot and so this was another very well done one the art in this one is great um, obviously it follows uh, the four uh, main fairy tale girls on sort of a new adventure and then we have a silent voice which with every volume it just keeps getting better and better. I really like uh, the character development that's going on now up into volume 4. Uh, definitely some interesting character development that some other characters that have been around in the series um, are starting to understand their motives a little bit more. And so just um, this has really been a really um, touching story so far and uh, I just can't wait uh, to see what comes next. Alrighty and we have Yamada-kun and the Seven Witches. This has been another one that's just been really enjoyable and fun to read. Um, it's one of those ones that's kind of snuck up on me. Um, in a matter of how much I'm looking forward to it each each uh, each month when one comes out, um, it's just been it's been really good. I just can't really say anything other than that. Um, it's got a really nice mixture of silly. And speaking of fairy tales, just a minute ago, um, I believe um, the young the young woman uh, who has been writing these and uh, obviously drawing them uh, used to be an assistant for um, uh, the author of fairy tale Miro. I can't remember his name exactly off the top of my head, but anyway, um, she used to be an assistant of his, and you can definitely sort of get the vibes every now and then of that slight hairy t fairy tale hairy tale fairy tale touch and so i've really been enjoying this uh, series i think the story's been really good and uh it's just been it's just been good it's been good Alrighty, now we have our yen press pickups of the month uh one again i was really looking forward to was evergreen uh, I like this one quite a bit more than Volume 2. Uh, volume 2 seemed a little slow, uh, didn't really, nothing much happened, and so much more happened in this volume, so much more character development, um, and the, the problems that they're having, so I really liked this volume, it was really good, and uh, I really picked up from Volume, from Volume 2, because I, I like Volume 1 so much. And then I was a little disappointed that nothing much happened in Volume 2, but this one was definitely worth it. It was a really good read. And then I finally picked up the first volume of Witch Hunter. Um, I can't really say anything much about it yet because I haven't read it. But uh, I look forward to it. I know there are several of them out. And so I think... I think Seven Seas... Did this just finish? I don't think so. I think maybe just another volume just came out. I can't quite remember. I haven't been paying enough attention to Witch Hunter. But um, I'm looking forward to reading this and um, and seeing how it is because, like I said, I've never really I've never really read it and never really looked that much into it. And another one, A Centaur's Life. I love these books. I just They're so good. They're so just chill. If you just want to sit and read something and just relax for a bit, because sometimes you need a break from all the high-octane punching and screaming and, I don't know, ninja battles. And so this is definitely one. It's really down to earth. Uh, it's like, 
it's obviously got um, a ton of monster characters, but it's so different from a series like Monster Mizumi and the fact that it's not like all like fan service and crazy like that. It's just real slice of life stories and how um, how like society functions with so many different um, types of creatures. So again, really liking a centaur's life. And moving swiftly onward, we're gonna go ahead and look at our viz pickups. So My Hero Academy, absolutely shooting to the top of my list uh, recently. Uh, I say the top, it's getting up there. Uh, really, really enjoying My Hero Academy. I heard the anime was announced, uh, so that should be great. Uh, this is gonna be probably prove to be one of my new favorite shonen type series. Uh, so, like the art style and the story has been so interesting. I cannot stress enough how much I would suggest going out and picking the series up because it had just been that good. And, moving on, we have another volume of Nisekoi. Again, uh, we had a bit of uh, character development, I guess, and a bit of character moving, but uh, this one took a slight step back from volume uh, 11, where it seemed like stuff might be happening. And again, not too, too much has happened, but it still has, it's turned more into a, just, character story, I guess, character driven. We haven't had much character development but um, lots of interaction with a lot of different characters. So again, the art in Nisekoi is amazing. So I'm just looking forward to uh, when the story really starts to turn. And then the unforgettable One Punch Man, again, again, <laughs> again, again. Uh, another one that's just really going up my list on really good series. Uh, it's been really good and I really can't stress enough how much you should go and pick it up. And then volume 65 of Bleach, uh, these these volumes in here were uh, are rather weird. Uh, I don't really know. What, I think these were like the zombie marching arc one. Uh, uh, this this bitch <laughs> or guy bastard, whatever you want to call him on the cover, real creepy guy. Uh, I don't really know what else to say about it. I mean, it's just been. I'm sure some. I'm sure a lot of you understand who have read or are still reading Bleach along with me. The, the struggles that come with Bleach, and I'm just, it's weird thinking back to what Bleach used to be and kind of looking at what it is now, because right now I'm, I'm reading it more so I can say I finished it more than I am confused about what's going on anymore. But hopefully uh, it'll turn around at some point. But anyway, moving on to our last Viz title, we have uh, Idle Dreams. So I haven't read this one yet. It seems it seems interesting um, about a woman who could have missed her chance or didn't pursue her dreams, and then ends up uh, being turned back into a young girl. I think to pursue her dream to become an idol. So I haven't read it yet. It's a shojo beat uh, series, obviously. I haven't read many shojo, but every once in a while I like to get one and just uh, see how it is. I don't know if I'll keep getting it, but I'll go ahead and read this volume and see how it turns out. And moving on to our biggest stack of the month, we have Yen Press. So, plenty of good pickups from Yen Press. Uh, we've got School Live. I'm sure, I'm sure many, 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 many of you have heard about this. Um, the manga has been really interesting, actually. The manga has been super interesting in the fact that how it differs from the anime. So, if you guys are fans of School Live, I highly recommend getting the manga because it is very interesting the things that have changed, especially who is missing from the series. So I'm going to be doing, once I finish reading it, I haven't quite finished reading it yet, I'll do a, uh, a manga first take on it. That might be coming in another week or two. So yeah, School Live. I'm really happy and pressed to pick that one up. Uh, again, I kind of picked this one up for shiggles. It's Bloody Cross. Uh, I don't really know anything about it, and I haven't read it yet. So like I said, I can't really speak too much on it, but uh, it looks interesting, so um, I'm looking forward to uh, to at least reading it and seeing how it turns out. Um, I got this volume for cheap, so I picked it up. I don't even know how to say it. Godire, maybe? You guys, I'm sure you guys will tell me if I'm wrong. Uh, I have the first volume. Uh, <laughs> I was kind of so-so on it. I wasn't planning on getting any of the other volumes, but I got this one for cheap. Uh, so I'll give it another shot and see how it turns out. But again, that really wasn't my favorite. But something I did really like 
was it Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon, Volume 3. This was another really good uh, uh, volume of the series. I have not watched any of the anime, so it's all been fresh and new to me. So I've really been enjoying it. I like the characters, I like the development. It's good. I like it. You should probably pick it up. <laughs> And then moving on to a slightly more different one, we have Dragon Riding. Um, I did a pretty intensive uh, manga first take on this one that will be coming out uh, shortly. Uh, lots of etchy little story. Could have been better. Uh, if you want to know more about this one, definitely go ahead and take a peek at, uh, at, that, at my first take video when it comes out because I talk a lot more about this volume. And then one I haven't even opened yet, because I haven't had time to, is Trinity 7. Uh, this was a, the volume 1 I liked quite a bit. Volume 2 um, was okay, so I'm interested to see where the sort of decisive volume 3 comes in and how it turns out to, uh, to pique my interest for the series and keep my, uh, keep my flame kindling, uh, to have an interest to even keep going with Trinity 7. So we'll see how that one goes for sure. Then we have the first volume of, <laughs> of Is This a Zombie? So I haven't watched the anime, I haven't read any of the books, but obviously I've seen a lot of clips, I've heard a lot about it. Um, it seems amusing, so I wanted to go ahead and just give it a shot. I got this one again for slightly, uh, for slightly cheaper, so I decided to pick it up. And uh, I'll probably do a review on this one as well, if you guys would like to see it. So yeah, that's uh, Is This a Zombie? And then the... <laughs> <laughs> the Glandius Prison School Volume 2. I've been waiting for this volume to come out ever since Volume 1 came out. And uh, I have come to the conclusion that I'm extremely happy that Yen Prest has licensed this series and is releasing it. I also love the fact that they're releasing it in uh, like um, two volume format. It seems perfect um, for this series, so it's done really well. I'm really happy that uh, we just get these massive... Uh, massive volumes to go ahead and read. Uh, this has been just as strange and out there as normal. Uh, again, <laughs> it's definitely a particular kind of series, but uh, and I know a lot of it has to do with, I know a lot of it deals with etchy and a lot of it is weird, but it also has a compelling enough story where I really want to know what happens to the characters. Um, it has actually done a surprisingly a surprising amount to keep me like invested in the characters so prison school is an interesting series but boy I'm surprised at uh, how much it's managed to capture my attention all right guys well I do hope you enjoyed this month's manga haul um, I really appreciate you go ahead and taking the time to watch this um, I would also really appreciate it if you take the time just to leave a rating on the video and uh, tell me uh, especially what you'd like to see done reviewed separately maybe in another video and stuff like that but anyway guys I've been Fiddle Ferret and I will see you back on the prowl next time bye bye